Hey everyone, I'm not Dan, but in this video we'll be talking about the different types of mixtures. It's... What's up everyone? So if you remember in our last video we talked about the differences between pure substances and mixtures. And we left off with the fact that there are three different kinds of mixtures solutions, colloids, and suspensions. So today we're going to talk about the specifics of those three different kinds of mixtures. Now I'm going to need some help here, so I'm going to weigh my hand and I present to you the amazing mixture determining chart of science. Alright, so as you can see our first category that we're looking at is does it settle out? So let me pick up my solution here and if you want to take a look at it and if you see there at the bottom is there any solids uh, settling out there no there definitely is not now let's take a look at our colloid so here we go take a look nope nothing there either but my suspension okay so on the surface not really much anything there oh look there it is we've got some solids definitely settling out at the bottom so for suspensions the answer is yes they do settle out. Now the next category is filtration, meaning that if we were to filter these things with through a piece of filter paper, would we be able to collect any solids? Well, for the solution and the colloid, there are no solids there to filter out, right? The suspension is the only one that has anything here at the bottom that is worth filtering out, okay? All right, now the next one, we're gonna be looking for something called the Tyndall effect which I'm pretty sure you've probably never heard of, which is okay, uh, because nobody ever refers to it as the Tyndall effect, but it's something that you have all seen before. Anytime you've had a little flashlight, right, such as this, okay, and you can see, here we go, the light is on, but you really can't actually see the beam of light. Well, if I were to put something in the way that would disperse that beam so you could see it, that is the Tyndall effect. Now, in order for us to see this a little better, I'm going to use my magic powers to turn off the lights. Ah, now that's much better. All right, so let's start with our solution right here. All right, so if I shine the light directly in, let me get a little closer here, there is no beam of light that you can see in the middle of that. Let's check out our colloid. And whoa, look at that. There is the beam of light directly in the, the mixture there. That is the Tyndall effect. And for our suspension, let me shake it back up so it's all mixed up together. And you can definitely see that glow right there in the liquid. There's your Tyndall effect. Okay. Let there be light. And there you have it. That's actually all you need in order to be able to identify a mystery mixture as a solution, colloid, or suspension. There are really only two things that you look for. One, does it settle out? If it settles out, like our suspension here, then you're already done. It's a suspension. If the answer to that question is no, then the next thing you look for is that Tyndall effect. You take your little light, you shine it into the, the liquid, and between the solution and the colloid, the solution does not show the Tyndall effect, but the colloid does. So there you go. Now some of you might be saying, hey, not Dan, in your amazing mixture determining chart of science, there are still some extra blanks in there. Well, I'm glad you noticed. And that is the topic for the next video. I'm not Dan, and neither are you. Check you later. Side your mind.